Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's seated in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Allow your body to get comfortable, to settle into a comfortable posture. If at any time you become uncomfortable, you can make an adjustment to reestablish comfort in your body. It's okay to be comfortable when you practice. And from here, notice if there's any tension that's present in your body any muscular tension or tightness. Do a quick scan throughout your whole body. And if you find muscular tension that's present anywhere in your body at this time, gently invite that tension to relax, to loosen up, to let go. Allow your body to become relaxed. And again, if at any time you find that your body becomes tight or tense, you can always re-establish relaxation in the body. You can always relax. It's very common that we have muscles that like to be tight, that tighten up even after we relax them. So feel free to relax as many times as you need. And in a way, this relaxation is already equanimity. It's already accepting this moment. Enjoy that comfort and relaxation for another moment. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin. Just a gentle, easy smile. When we use our physical bodies to smile, different chemicals are released in our nervous system that gently incline us towards happiness. So we wanna encourage that process along by inviting a gentle, easy smile to our faces. In this way, we're preparing our bodies for practice, establishing comfort and relaxation in the body, with a gentle, easy smile on our faces. Enjoy that in your body for another moment.
Very good. Now, take a few moments to reflect on things in your life that you can summon a sense of gratitude for. Things that you can feel grateful for. It could be anything at all, something big or small, something very special that's happening for you right now, something very ordinary, like having food to eat or water to drink, air to breathe. Whatever it is, reflect on things that you can feel grateful for. You can cultivate a sense of gratitude with. In this way, we're preparing the mind for practice as well. Using our minds to reflect on things that we have this sense of gratitude for. You can stay with one thing or reflect on many different things. It's all good. Just cultivate this sense of gratitude using your mind. And of course, if you can connect to that gratitude in your body, if you can feel it in your body, notice that and really enjoy it. Enjoy the gratitude. any one of these mini techniques that we've done, becoming comfortable in the body, being relaxed, smiling, reflecting on things that we're grateful for. You could do any one of these for as long as you like. So if they're resonating for you, if you're enjoying them, feel free to stay with that. If you'd like, you can also practice cultivating loving kindness for your easy-to-love person or animal. Bringing to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Perhaps a friend or family member, small child or pet in your life. Even someone imaginary, just imagining, for example, a puppy or a kitten a baby. If you'd like, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Once you've selected someone, see if you can visualize them in your mind. Use your mind's eye to imagine them. And in particular, to imagine them being happy. Perhaps with a smile on their face or laughing, doing something they feel proud of. Imagine your easy to love person or animal being happy.
Perhaps this image alone will bring you a felt sense of happiness. Will bring a smile to your face, imagining this person being happy. But if you'd like, you can also supplement that image with phrases in your mind, mental talk, wishing them well. Perhaps saying the same phrase over and over again, like, may you be happy, or I love you. Or a phrase or phrases that are particular to this person and your relationship with them. You get to decide how to practice. Simply cultivate an attitude of love and well-wishing for this easy-to-love person or animal. Again, if there's any felt sense of enjoyment or happiness in your body as you do this practice, notice that and really enjoy it. Feel that love, feel that happiness and enjoy it. And if this is resonating for you, cultivating love for your easy to love person or animal, feel free to return to this at any time. If you'd like, you can move on to practicing cultivating equanimity. In general, equanimity is allowing your experience without pushing away what's uncomfortable or grabbing on to what we enjoy, what we like, without aversion or clinging. There's a special kind of equanimity that's interpersonal. that has to do with other people. And that's what we'll be cultivating tonight. Bring to mind someone other than your easy to love person or animal. Someone who you like and care about, who's in your life, or someone different. Again, maybe another friend or family member. And again, cultivate this same sense of well wishing, wanting them to be happy. See if you can feel the same kinds of feelings for this new person. Even though the object of your love and care has changed, the feelings are the same. You're directed towards someone new, but the same feelings, love and care. Wishing them well. And as you do this, you can use, again, images in your mind or mental talk, wishing them well. But 
And as you do that, see if you can notice that you can't control this person, that they make their own choices in life, that they decide which actions to take and which ones not to take, and that you can't really control that. See if you can hold those two things at once. Wishing them well, wanting them to be happy. And at the same time, knowing that you have no real control over this person. But they decide how to live their life. And you can't make them be happy. Even if you want that for them. Are you able to feel both of those aspects, that genuine love and well-wishing and total acceptance and surrender, knowing that you can't control them, you can't make them be happy. You can only allow them to be exactly who they are. This is this taste of equanimity. Notice as you do this practice, what your body feels like. What it feels like to do this technique. Maybe it feels good. Maybe it feels happy or enjoyable, joyful. Maybe there's a sense of peace, calm, acceptance. Maybe there are other feelings, difficult feelings, or just some other kind of emotional flavor to your experience. Whatever it is, simply be aware. Seeing if you can allow whatever feelings there are to be there is itself a kind of equanimity not pushing away uncomfortable emotions, not clinging to happy emotions, just allowing. Totally normal to have any kind of feelings at all. Simply be aware of them and allow them.
If you'd like, you can stay with the same person or move on to someone else. If you'd like some added difficulty, perhaps, you can work with someone who's challenging or uncomfortable for you. And see if you can arrive at that same balance of wishing them well, wanting them to be happy, and knowing that you can't change them, that you can't make them be a different person. Simply allowing them to be who they are, even in the aspects that you may find annoying or difficult or uncomfortable. Can you connect to both of those aspects? Well-wishing, wanting them to be happy and allowing them be, to be who they are, having equanimity. Again, you get to decide how to practice. Simply cultivate this mind state of combining well-wishing with allowing equanimity. Again, as you practice, keep in your awareness how your body feels. Whatever is happening for you, whether it's enjoyable or difficult or neutral, see if you can be aware of that in your body, what that's like for you. And allow those sensations to be present in your body. 
whatever their content, however they feel. Very good. Now, take a moment to look back on your practice period. What happened? What was it like for you? Did you face any challenges? Did you learn anything new? Take a moment to consider and reflect. And as you're ready at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 